Welcome, viewers, today, we dive into The King of the Rocket Men, a classic sci-fi adventure series that captivated audiences for decades. In episode 10, a hero Jeff King, also known as the Rocket Man, faces his most formidable challenge yet. As he continues his relentless quest to thwart the nefarious plans of the evil Dr. Vulcan, Jeff uncovers a sinister plot that threatens to wreak havoc on the city. With time running out and danger lurking at every corner, Jeff must use his wits, courage, and advanced rocket suit to save the day. Will he manage to outsmart Dr. Vulcan and protect innocent lives from imminent peril? This episode is packed with suspense, action, and the timeless charm that makes it King of the Rocket Men a beloved classic. before. But why did you hide all this from me? Professor Millard and I thought it wiser not to tell anyone. We felt the fewer people who knew, the better chance we'd have to unmask Dr. Vulcan. Then that is Millard's invention. Yes. Shortly after he established himself in that cave to escape Dr. Vulcan, I found out he perfected the flying suit and volunteered to test it for it. Well, here it is. I hope it works. We'll soon know. I'll take it with me and test it for you. Well, stay close to the ground for the first few flights. There still may be a few adjustments to be made. Right. By the way, the professor's elected me to move the new rocket to the proving grounds for testing. Oh, well, be careful, Jeff. That's the kind of thing that Dr. Vulcan could sell to a foreign nation for a fortune. Yes, if personal gain is the motive behind Vulcan. But we're not sure of that. In any event, I've had the demonstration model loaded aboard an unmarked truck. It's being kept under armed guard in a small warehouse in town. I feel sure Dr. Vulcan has no idea where it is. I hope you're right. I'll let you know about the tests. That warehouse was where Glenda and I were to meet you. Yes. I had everything set. Then somehow Dr. Vulcan learned of my plans. How's everything? It's fine. The truck's ready and waiting for you. Good.
realized the rocket suit was an untried experiment, but with it, I stood an outside chance of overtaking that truck. Linda and I saw you flying away, but we had no idea who it was. Then what happened, Jeff? I actually spotted the truck from the air. torpedo lands in any populated area, you'll be guilty of mass murder. was pure luck. I'll bet you got another scare when you learned Glenda had snapped your pictures, Rocket Man. I was even more afraid when Dr. Vulcan learned of it and sent Durkin to her apartment. He stole a negative and escaped. But Glenda went after him. And you went after her? Yes, as Rocket Man. escaped with that microfilm, but later it was destroyed, so Vulcan never succeeded in using it. It all adds up to the fact that someone who's been seated at our conference table is behind all this. Leaving us for the moment with a choice of either Bryant or Grafner. We'll nail one of them sooner or later. It'd better be sooner. 
With that decimator in Dr. Vulcan's hands, his power for evil is unlimited. Couldn't we trace the machine through its thromium rays? Not if Vulcan is smart enough to develop a device for screening the wave emanations. Looks like we're licked. It only looks like it. I'm conducting an investigation that should tell us very shortly which of the two men is Dr. Vulcan. Jeff King knows I have the decimator, and he'll bend every effort to find it before I can cash in on its value. There is only one answer. Jeff King must die. Yes, but how? We've already tried a dozen ways to kill him. There's one way we haven't tried. I'll arrange for King to be called into town. I want you to... Hello, Jeff. Hello, Glenda. Where are you going? Into town to meet Professor Moore. He phoned that he wanted to see me on a matter of vital importance. You're not going to town with that. Uh, oh, I guess not. Never mind, we'll run you into town in my car. Oh, thanks anyway, but I'll take this cab. Taxi? Bye. Oasis Hotel. Don't waste your time, King. Those doors can be unlocked only from the outside. Like your late colleagues, you have finally been lured into a position from which there is no escape. I'm driving your cab by remote control, watching you take your last ride. Even Rocket Man cannot help you now.